Guys, what is going on right now? What is cracking? MR2 day. We've got new gauges, everything in the car, but I never had a gauge pot. Um, I've been waiting for some time to get one, uh, but I was pretty lucky in the fact that Auto Extrude was able to hook me up and send me this new gauge pod. It's not here yet. It's going to be here in a couple hours. FedEx is taking a little bit and it's really pissing me off. But what we can do is start working on this. As you guys can see here, my gauges have been just kind of what's good. So it's been kind of hanging out on top of the steering rack. Uh, the new gauge pod, gauge pod actually sits right here. The thing is, I need to undo all this and I have to undo this, which I'm not looking forward to. If you guys own an MR2, you know these things can be very finicky. Um, these tend to break. These clamshells always tend to break, and I'm very, very nervous to do this. He's sending me another one just in case I do break mine. Uh, you can tell this has never been a part, and I'll be honest, I'm quite nervous about doing this. But it's got to be done, so what we're going to do first is take off this bottom piece. Then we'll start work on the clamshell. The reason I got to take off the bottom piece is because the wiring for these is down right here. I need to unclip these and then run these back down through the gauge. And the new system, I got to cut a small hole in the top of the clamshell here because I want these wires to be hidden and it runs down through here underneath so there's no wires to be seen it's a pretty uh, intuitive little system but let's show you guys all that when it's done All right, guys, now that I've got that all out, you can see some of the wiring right here. I can move the gauges back and forth, but what I need to do is undo this wiring, unclip it here, um, which makes it pretty nice. Actually, I forgot that there's clip in. I don't have to rerun all the wiring. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, that makes my life so much easier. So I gotta unclip all this and then we'll rerun the wires. All right, guys, so I went ahead and got the clamshell off here. Uh, I was able to get it off without breaking any of the tabs, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, but I do have to finish the wiring for this. My buddy Brandon's coming back because it's ran through and he has it done so nice I don't want to screw it up. But I'm gonna show you guys the clamshell here, which is right here. So here's the bottom clamshell. If you guys can see, there's little tabs there or inside and you can't see them. There's no way to press on them or anything, so you gotta pull them straight down. They usually break off. Here's the top piece. So here's the top clamshell. These tabs here usually snap off. These little guys usually snap or break. Um, and people usually, these little plastic holes here, people tend to crank down because they're just plastic threads. They crank these screws down too hard and these get loose. So when you put these in, as soon as you feel get a little tight, stop. That's it. That's all the more you need. Don't go crazy with it. Uh, all you're gonna do is screw things up. But I've got another good thing. My package is here, guys. So inside of here is my new gauge. Well, gauge pot holder, I should say. So let's go ahead and try opening this bad boy up uh, and see what the final product looks like. All right guys, so I got BB behind the camera now helping me out tonight. Uh, what I went ahead and did, I took the top clamshell and I round up these holes uh, so they could fit all the wiring through because they're gonna fit down underneath the clamshell. Uh, the way this design works, this is gonna sit on top of the clamshell like so. All the wires are round, run down underneath and you won't be able to see anything this way. As you can see, the back of it is closed off. Gives it a nice stealth look. And because these come with bolts, I was gonna use double-sided tape here. The problem is it made it sit up and off and it looks kind of janky. Thankfully, he actually did put bolts in it, and we're going to uh, crank it down with those. The way we did it was we marked each bolt, which we took them out now, but we marked each bolt with a silver Sharpie. As soon as we marked the bolts that were inside of there, we sat it down, and wherever you saw the little silver dots at, we then drilled those holes out. It's kind of hard to see there on the camera, guys, but you'll see those four little holes. Now what we're going to do is flip it over and start putting this on. If we can do it gonna be tight. So BB's doing finishing up the wiring here right now, guys. Um, Brandon, you wanna explain to them a little bit what happened here? You're gonna have to speak up too, because we've got the uh, the old heater going, so I apologize, guys. What am I exactly explaining? Well, what happened here, bro? What Look. What happened? You bought a gauge pod in order. What, what was wrong with your janky ass wiring, though? Why was my wiring so janky? Because Ryan wanted it done right then and there. That's right, because I'm fucking impatient little shit. That's why. That's what I wanted to hear. So now That's we're doing it the right way. See, guys, I'm an impatient little shit. 
And if it would have been me, it would have been real janky just to get it the fuck in and get it done. I mean, I work eight hours a day on cars and he wants me to come work on his shit. So he's my, he's my little baby. He's my little bitch boy and I love him so Wait much. Wait he has to tear, tear, all, tear out all the interior of the GTR to do the rear springs. I'm in. I can't wait. I'm excited as fuck. It's going to be so much fun. Who wants to see GTR content? GTR content is coming guys. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Wait till the summer. There's gonna be so much shit going on. We're gonna I'm gonna try and upload three times a week instead of two times a week this summer too. So but anyways, he's working on the wiring here. I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so we've got everything buttoned up here. All you gotta do is put the steering wheel back on. So BB's gonna go ahead and start putting it back on now. Um, we've got everything clamped up. The only thing that was a little, I should say, difficult was that top shelf. Um, if you guys can see here, it's it's quite tight. With the wires going underneath of it and everything, it makes it quite tight. Uh, so don't get frustrated, just take your time, go back and forward with it. it. It just takes a little bit of extra effort. guys so gauge pod is in now like this thing is freaking awesome I love the way this turned out it's so nice in here and it's sturdy as you can see I'm trying to move it but it's nice and sturdy got the air fuel gauge and we got a boost gauge and uh, it doesn't block anything if you can see here here's my point of view so let me focus this for you you guys can see the gauge is there clearly uh, I wanted it so that you could easily see like mile power wise I want to be able to see up to 80 so it's nothing is blocked there just in case like obviously I'm trying to watch my speed and for me I want to be able to see higher up in the RPM so it worked out perfectly that it blocks the stuff I don't care about uh, obviously the way it's set up it's going to block something if you if you think it's not going to you're lying to yourself um, this is kind of giving a false representation though too because if I'm actually sitting back here you can actually see pretty much everything um, so your heat, your uh, turbo, the little boost in the center, you can see clearly, and you can see your fuel very clearly too. I like this, guys. I think these are 90 or 100 bucks on Auto Extrude. Uh, the guy's extremely nice. He's great with shipping and stuff, and great at getting stuff out. Uh, the fitment is on point. If you guys can see here, like it wraps around here perfectly. It sits on there nice and flush. The color matches everything too. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% perfect because it's just it's not a factory item so this works out really well guys i'm pretty stoked on all this so it's the next day here now sorry it kind of got a little convoluted there the other night uh bb's already gone now it's saturday morning uh the gauges are in and they look freaking awesome this mount came out perfect and the wheel right now is at full tilt as you guys can see the wheel can go up to full tilt come down the whole way doesn't hit the glass or do anything like that comes out really nicely so i'm really happy with the way this turned out again i think so the cost of these are, I believe it's 69 for the uncapped, so the wires would just run out the back of it. But if you want the one like mine where it runs down through the top of the clamshell, uh, it's $99 shipped to your door. Pretty nice little piece. He has a ton of orders in right now, guys, so you guys have to be a little patient with him uh, as it's going to take a skinny minute to get him out. But the second part of this video is going to be we're cleaning up. I shouldn't say we because I haven't done squat besides wash the car. We've got John here. You guys see auto detail in the background. He brought all this stuff with him. We're gonna do this at my house for a change, which is different because he has this big, beautiful shop down in Dallas, Virginia. Um, if you guys want some link all his stuff down below there for TLC Auto Detail, they do everything from the gamuts, you name it, they do it. Um, if you guys need anything, go ahead and hit them up. They are always available. Um, what are your guys' hours during the week, John? Uh, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wow, I can't remember that. There you go, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. They are open. Um, so yeah. I can't wait to get the same detail. The one thing we noticed, or one thing I noticed right off the bat was the back bumper had been burnt from the exhaust and he already got that off. Look at that. So, taking the taillights out also for the fact that for some reason my friends are always telling me, jump over this real quick, this middle light here looks darker than the rest. I'm trying to figure out if you can see here See how that's slightly darker? What makes that tail light look like it's out, and I don't know why. And I'm not sure if it's on the outside or if it's on the inside, where it's coming from, but it's driving me crazy.
So BB's here now too. He's trying to get his new diffuser on. Oh, look at the exhaust back. I can't wait to see. We build, think we'll be able to see the exhaust a little bit better too here. Uh, well, I guess it just dropped. You're just yeah. dropping this piece here, right? This comes down. All right, so uh, that. Escape yeah. like fucking 50, 10 millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, yes, yes. I Thank you for it. reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> That's. It's all tens, and then it's like four twelves on the side. Yeah. Stupid. Just, just wait till you see the power bolts. <laughs> really? Is it that? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. It's bad. It's bad. I had customers like, hey, I'm gonna clear for all this shit, and I was like, yeah, not interested. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see that then. Hey, okay, boats you trying to collect here today, BB? Well, Nissan thought it was a great idea to put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, like 25 bolts just to hold up one panel. Well, yeah, of course. It, no, <laughs> no. Hey, who thinks we should start a GoFundMe for Ryan to get a quick jet? This fucking guy, he wants me to get a quick jack. I need to get a, my lift in in general. That's the whole problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. It's, it's not very politically correct, all right? Why is there a little, I'm just looking at the inside of this right now. There's like a little diverter in the center of it. Meistercraft. Is that what it is, Meistercraft? Is there on the side? Yeah. yeah. You fancy Potent stuff. Potentially for sale. Really? Good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, there's more to come. We're not going to talk about it. We'll talk about it more. Can't wait for that. Dude, it's going to be pumped. I can't wait either. Look at that. Look, he's sweeping up after the rocks fell out of his car because it's my garage. Now, he's too kind. did not even have to do that. But, you guys ever wondering how big a diffuser is on a GTR? And it's the only part you can see. You can see where the wash line almost ends. This is about all you can see on the GTR. The rest of this, all this carbon, you can't see. So you can kind of see where some of the cost is incurred when buying a GTR now. I didn't realize how much money's wrapped up in these damn cars. So that kind of makes sense. All right, so now we got Brandon here. He's laying out the template. Do you need tape so we can hold it? Uh, we'll cut, the, cut it out. Oh, you're, actually, you're gonna actually physically cut it out? Um, we'll have Ryan put details uh, where this comes from. If any of you guys are looking to get one. Yep. And uh, we'll show you the process as we go. This is gonna be awesome. Can't wait to get this done. John is now prepping the car for Modesta. Love these buckets they have too. So freaking cool. So right now guys, the car is curing. We've got the IR heat lamps on it right now. Try to cure the coating. So what's going on exactly? So what's the, what was the process for today? Uh, prep the car, we repolished everything. We didn't chase perfection on it. Um, single stage paint, some of the areas were thinner from what, almost two years ago we polished yeah, it? Yeah, yep. So the goal is just to get rid of the oxidation fully and give it a better chance of preservation throughout the years. So light polish on it, took a couple hours, prep the surfaces. Uh, applied the coating and now we're using the IR lamp to kind of initiate the curing process itself. So it's going to heat up from a temperature about 120 to 140 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Move on to the next section until we do the whole car. Uh, apply the M1 shot, which is kind of an organic substance, go on top, run against water spotting, and kind of give it some chemical resistance. And then, other than that, you're good to go to drive it afterwards, man. I can't wait to get this thing. It looks so nice. I, it Video never does adjust it, but you guys can see, can you see the light reflecting off of it or refracting, whatever you want to say. It just looks shiny now. And this is single stage paint from a factory standpoint, except for the front bumper here. Um, and if you guys know what single stage paint is like, it sucks. It gets, what, what, is, what does it do exactly? It's oxidation. It's oxidation. Yeah. It oxidizes and it just doesn't look good. When I first got it, John fixed most of it, but we didn't coat it. Now this time around we're coating it, so it should stay this way for quite some time, especially because obviously it stays in my garage, but Thank you again, John. Like, this is so freaking cool. 
I always like seeing these heat lamps. And it's just literally curing the paint right now. All right guys, so the car is done curing. It looks fantastic now. Now it's been, you know, polished and it has a ceramic coating on it now. It should stay like this for quite some time. It's hard to, I mean, I've got these bright ass lights in here, but white is so hard to pick up it just in, in person. It's just beautiful now. Uh, single stage paint gets really cloudy and starts to look really dull really quick uh, if it's not, well, taken care of pretty much. Uh, even as much as I washed the car, it was starting to get cloudy even though John had just detailed the car probably about, I wanna say a, year, a little over a year ago. Um, and now it should stay this way, which I'm really happy about. The car isn't perfect. The goal of it was to polish the car out some, get a little bit of the cloudiness out of it, but no, we're not, it wasn't a true paint correction, as I call it, because there's still some scratches, there's still some swirl marks. I might even be swirl marks in it, but just like light scratches. The paint is very old, it's 25 years old, it's very thin, so we couldn't cut it much. Um, there's stupid things wrong with the car, like, you know, original paint down here starting to chip off. I mean, there's no rust on it, but, you know, little things there. But like John said, he said, it makes cars like this great though. I don't worry about driving it. Like the Supra, I don't worry about driving it here because it is 50 shades of gray, you know? So this does help me out a ton. I always think this is cool. When he's done with it, he gives you these little things. Do not wash Modesta coated. So when you take it to the dealer, you put that in there saying, hey, don't wash my car, service it, do whatever you need to, but do not touch this damn car. Do not let your wash bay tech wash the damn thing which I think is pretty cool. I put one in the Supra too, so if I do take it anywhere, which that'll never happen, but it's just cool. I think I'm gonna keep them up for car shows and stuff. I think it's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, very, very happy with the way it turned out. Again, TLC Auto Detail uh, is where you can check them out. Car is coated in Modesta Plus. Uh, this is BCO4 to be exact. Um, you know, you can get five to seven years out of it, is what they're saying, uh, especially for a car it's not really driven, it'd probably be longer. I know he was saying, you know, something like my cars, you can get 10 year plus out of them, depending on how they're taken care of, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, someone that's daily driven, he's saying five to seven years, that's sitting outside, being driven, that's pretty damn impressive for a car that's literally just gonna get rained on all the time and get through the snow and all that crap we have here. The last five to seven years with salt, that to me is mind blowing, especially when I saw the one car you did. All right guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, do me a big favor, go check out the Facebook, the Instagram. Also go check out the website. Uh, guys, thank you very much and I'll talk to you later. Peace.